Hey, what's going on guys? Lone coming at you with a tips and tricks part two video. You guys really seem to have liked my first one, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a second one. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible so it's easier to watch and easier to follow along with, I guess. Just before I get started, I would like to mention, please check the link in the description below to go to worldcreator.com. It's how I was able to make terrains used in this video, which you can use to create all sorts of high level terrains as well using their premium tool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Tip number one is how to see in dark places. The simplest and most easiest way is you can just tap the L key on your keyboard and it will illuminate like a flashlight all around you pretty much so you can see everywhere around your vicinity. Additionally, you can go to your edit and preferences and disable the volume effects as I do here. Tip number two is how to raise and lower your entire map, including all of the prefabs on it. All you have to do is just open up the terrain tool in the top right, go to the very bottom and hit advanced options. And then at the very bottom, you can type either a positive or a negative number to raise or lower your entire terrain. Just please note that the larger your map is, the longer it may take for it to process and actually raise or lower it. The smaller the map, the faster it'll happen. Tip number three, this one's super easy. Basically, whenever you're in the path tools for creating a custom road, all you have to do is just control click and it adds a new node. All right, tip number four is the wire prefab. Just recently, Kill you added the ability for us to have a starting and an end point for this tool. This makes it very easy to make custom power lines or overhead wires and tight corridors. Tip number five is the prefab brush. This one's pretty cool in the fact that you can paint wherever you want on your map with whatever prefab you would like to use. In this example, I'm using barrels and crates. You can use whatever prefabs you want in theory. Just be careful doing this because the more prefabs you have, the more lag it'll probably cause. So just be careful not to go too overboard with this one. Tip number six is adding detail easily using the conditional paintbrush tool. As you can see following on the screen, which you can slow down if you would like to on YouTube, clicking the little settings tab at the bottom of this video. Um, basically all I'm doing is setting conditions for the paint tool to paint in certain areas and slopes. That way you can easily get a nice mountain range without it being all one texture. All right, tip number seven is a little bit similar to tip number six, but I'll explain what I mean. Whenever you have a map and somebody used the smoothens tool quite a bit, you can tell because whenever you open up the actual map, it looks like somebody melted it with a lighter. An easy way to add some detail is using the hydraulic erosion tool under the terrain tool and then scroll all the way down on the list and select hydraulic erosion. And you can have settings similar to mine if you would like. And it basically just adds the area more detail so it doesn't look as flat and melted on the in-game map. All right, tip number eight, this is how to create a super simple, small island. Uh, I'll let the video speak for itself, but basically this is just an easy way how to get a little PVP island or a one grid server, whatever you would like to call it, and in the fewest steps possible. Tip number nine is how to change your map resolution. Uh, don't use this one too often, but it is kind of handy if you have a small island and you want to raise the quality of it as far as the terrain quality or the splat quality, which is like the grass or the sand. So as you can follow the steps on the screen here, you can raise the quality quite a bit. Bear in mind that this can cause issues if your height map doesn't support the resolution you're trying to set it to. So you might have to use a little bit of the terrain tools to smoothen out the terrain if it looks a little pixelated.
last but not least, tip number 10. This is the in-game rest edit map. So you can actually see kind of an overhead view of your map as well as teleport around by double clicking anywhere on the map to get there much faster than just flying there. This is a very helpful tool. I use it all the time. Sometimes I take it for granted and forget that I even use it. So I figured I'd throw it in this tips and tricks video. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like as well as a comment. Um, get, it lets me know that I can make more of these if you guys benefit by these. So just let me know. And you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one.